Mismo si Pangulong Marcos nagulat nang biglang may gustong ipaimpits na senador sa Pangulo ng Pilipinas base sa balitang kumakalat. Bistadong may traidor na senador sa Pangulo ng Pilipinas matapos biglang ipakalat ang impormasyong senado lang dapat nakakaalam sa Pilipinas ayon sa senado. Merong mananagot at may impits talaga sa pwesto sa oras na malaman ng senado ang senador na nagtatraidor sa gobyerno. 24 lang tayong hinalal ng buong Pilipinas at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa sa atin hindi na basa-basa magsasalita baka mamaya meron na maglilik sa media so pangit po 24 lang tayo dito na senador at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa't isa natin Mr. President I have been a senator here for more than 10 years and this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage I do not know I do not want to name names first on the list Senator Robin Padilla. Mr. President, it is very unfortunate that this kind of incident happened uh, within our midst. Number one, Mr. President, it uh, creates distrust from among us 24 senators. Ibig sabihin, the next time around that we are going to have our caucus or uh, executive session, hindi na ako basa-basa magsasalita. Baka mamaya, meron naman maglilik sa media. So pangit po, 24 lang tayo dito na senador at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa't isa natin, Mr. President. Number two, it tarnishes, it tarnished the image of the Senate. 24 lang tayong hinalan ng buong Pilipinas at hindi pa natin mapagkatiwalaan ang isa sa atin na pwedeng nag-leak. If indeed, it was leaked by any member of uh, the Senate. Kung ang nag-leak naman noon, ay empleyado na nandun sa loob. Well, as a police officer, as a former police officer, Mr. President, I can vividly recall kung sinong nandun sa loob. So, apat silang na, na, nalaman ko na nandun sa loob. Magpagkante dito, dapat we have to make into account yung tao na responsable dito. Hindi lang na magsisente ng stern warning sa kanila. Kundi, the damage has been done. Lumabas na yung balita niya, nasira na kung sinong dapat masira, but I don't care. Kumasira ang reputasyon ko. Ang sa akin lang, ma-preserve yung ating, uh, yung ating uh, reputasyon. President, I support the, the call of uh, Senator Jingo Estrada that uh, yung source nitong news na ito, if it is a politisko, he has to be uh, called before a hearing para malaman natin kung sinong source niya. At kung hindi siya magsabi ng totoo, I will be the first one to move for the citing in contempt of that uh, media personnel. Mr. President, ikulong natin yan. Kung uh, ayaw magsabi ng totoo. Mr. President, eh, this, is not a, this is not a laughing matter. This is serious. People, uh, Filipino people are watching us right now. Sabihin nila, ganyan na pala sinado ngayon. Hindi ba pagkatiwalaan? Sila sila lang nag-uusap? Maglilig pa doon sa media? It's very dangerous, Mr. President. Very dangerous. Masyado nga akong uh, disbayado. We Thank agree. you, Mr. President. We there were, there was a news report that identified eight or nine senators and there were names on that list eight or nine senators who wanted to restore the confidential and intelligence fund of the vice president and the department of education and i wish to tell the people of the philippines that there was no votation that happened yesterday with regard to the uh, intelligence fund of the uh, Vice President and the Department of Education. In fact, we had an executive session. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation with this media outlet. I have been a senator here for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage. I do not know. I do not want to name names. This is a violation of our rules, and the majority floor leader will expound it later. Mr. President, we tackled, we discussed lengthily for almost two hours the schedule, etc., of the budget of the, of the Republic of the Philippines. We never touched or we never voted with regard to all the intelligence fund or confidential fund. In fact, we agreed unanimously to remove all 
the confidential and intelligence fund, not only that of the office of the vice president, including not only that of the Department of, of Education, but all security or civilian agencies. Namerong confidential and intelligence. First on the list, Senator Robin Padilla, Christopher Bongo, Ramon Bongreville Jr., Ronald Bato de la Rosa, Jingo Estrada, Lito Lapid, Francis Tolentino, and Cynthia Villar. They are putting us in a bad light. And I condemn this. And I, th and I take offense on this. Nakalagay pa. Senator Pia Caitan is said to be supportive of reinstating Duterte's confidential funds if she can justify the need for them. This is not true. And I hope Senator Pia Caitan will agree with me. And if I may quote, Anis Cooper told this media outlet that Senators Sani Angara, Francis Escudero, Rafi Tulfo, Aquilino Pimentel III, and Visa Ontiveros are allegedly against the reinstatement of the third secret allocation which are lodged under the office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Mali mali po itong report, Mr. President. And I think uh, Senator Angara must not be included in this list. And among the offices, Duterte's allocation was part of the 1.2 billion in confidential funds that the House realigned to agencies focused on the West Philippines. Mr. President, tumayo po ako rito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. Kahit chismis yan or gossip yan, walang problema sa kanyan. Ang problema, bakit o pa paano lumabas sa isang media outlet yung mga nag-transpire sa ating usap usapin sa hapon. Yes, that is, for me, that is the most important thing. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way, Mr. President. And, uh, Mr. President, I stand before you and I uh, want to make this recommendation maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them who among us violated our rules? Who among us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday? That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Dijoy. Before I recognize the other members, I'd just like to put on record, I too am very disappointed. I have been a senator for six plus six, uh, four plus six, ten, plus two, twelve years, and a member of Congress for nine years. And when we say executive session, we are bound by rules. Ngayon, ikaw, bilang Pilipino, ano ang masasabi mo at reaksyon sa balitang ito? Mag-iwang ka ng komento sa ibaba at atin pong babasahin isa-isa.